These are some of the all-time greats. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 WWE wrestlers of all time. For this list, we'll be ranking the most popular and influential grapplers to ever lace up a pair of boots and step into the squared circle. We realize not all of these legends spent their entire careers in Vince McMahon's House of Muscle, but they will be viable for inclusion, so long as their music filled WWE arenas and their images were put up on that titantron. Number 10, Randy Macho Man Savage. We know what you're probably thinking, how is Macho Man kicking off our list? And you'd be right. That's just a testament to how many talented performers have stepped into a WWE ring, not the least of which was this show-stopping, elbow-dropping icon. The Macho Man's intense promos were one of a kind, and his matches with the likes of Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, the stuff of pro wrestling legend. Savage shined during an era of giant performers and slow, lumbering matches, bringing to WWE his accelerated work rate, infectious charisma, and a character which could work gangbusters as both a babyface and a heel. The Macho Man was truly one of the greats. Number 9. John Cena Sure, Big Match John has been accused of burying up-and-coming young talent numerous times over the course of his illustrious career, but that doesn't take anything away from the natural magnetic energy of Cena as a performer. John's early career signified the dawn of WWE's ruthless aggression era during the early and mid-2000s, where Cena earned his stripes as a promising rookie saddled with an awkward but fun gimmick. As the rapping Doctor of Thugonomics, Cena put on good matches while honing his craft, working up the ranks to eventually become the WWE's most recognized star. Today, he's used that star power for good, doing charity work for the Make-A-Wish Foundation, while remaining a future WWE Hall of Famer. Number 8. Daniel Bryan Whether you know him as Bryan Danielson or the American Dragon, there's no denying that Daniel Bryan made his initial mark within the pro wrestling indie circuit. Bryan was already an underground star before jumping to WWE, but it wasn't a foregone conclusion that he would enjoy the same success in the big leagues. It took years of poor booking and forcing backstage hands for Brian to emerge as one of the company's biggest stars, thanks mainly to their desire to keep him down in the mid-guard. The Yes movement couldn't be stopped, however, and Daniel Bryan has since managed to overcome injury and destiny to become a multi-time WWE World Heavyweight Champion. Number 7. Eddie Guerrero What more can we say about Latino Heat himself, Eddie Guerrero? The much-missed superstar has proven to be an influence upon countless performers in the years since his passing, with young talents around the world studying Guerrero's incredible career. He came from a wrestling family and cut his teeth performing in Mexico, as well as with ECW and World Championship Wrestling. Eddie was already a star from that promotion's cruiserweight division, and he managed to use this momentum into a transition with friends Dean Malenko, Perry Saturn, and Chris Benoit over to WWE. Furthermore, Guerrero was able to overcome personal demons with a triumphant WWE Championship win over Brock Lesnar at No Way Out in 2004, cementing his career in front of the entire world. Number 6. Ric Flair there are many wrestling fans out there who will argue that Ric Flair is the greatest of all time, and they're not wrong. It should be said, however, that Flair didn't need the WWE to make him a star, because he was already styling and profiling in the AWA and NWA long before he made his WWE debut in 1991. That doesn't mean that Flair didn't have some amazing matches during his time in the company, however, such as the time he won the 1992 Royal Rumble after debuting at number 3, or his association with the Evolution Stable. Plus, his iconic retirement match with Shawn Michaels at WrestleMania 24 in 2008 was a true classic, a must-see for anyone interested in the pathos of pro wrestling as a legitimate art form. Number 5. The Undertaker out of all the wrestlers on this list, there's just one who truly seems to personify WWE as a brand. Mark Calloway, aka The Undertaker, has managed to reinvent himself numerous times, while remaining a homegrown WWE stalwart and a locker room leader. The Undertaker has evolved from a mystical monster heel into a conquering dark babyface, from a demonic cult leader to a badass biker, all the while capturing the imaginations of the WWE Universe for generations. 
The dead man has delivered countless classics with the likes of Triple H, Shawn Michaels and Mankind, the latter of which made world headlines after Taker infamously tossed him off a cage during Hell in a Cell 98. Often imitated but never duplicated, there will only be one Undertaker. Number 4. Bret the Hitman Hart the excellence of execution had wrestling in his blood, with the Hart family siring a multi-generational brood of professionals and performers in the industry. His quick and technical style helped define the WWE's new generation era, where the big and burly performers of old were being replaced by a younger and more fast-paced breed of performer. The Hitman always delivered the goods, whether as a tag team with brother-in-law Jim the Anvil Nightheart, to his single success as both Intercontinental and WWE Heavyweight Champion. Body slams and clotheslines may have defined the business in the 1980s, but Bret Hart helped mark professional wrestling as a technical exercise with real athleticism and charisma. Number 3. The Rock Dwayne The Rock Johnson is an international name today, but it was with WWE where the former Rocky Maivia honed all of the talents which would make him a certifiable superstar. The Rock made an art form out of the pro wrestling promo, where a performer delivers a monologue to further the storyline of their character. Johnson could talk and ad-lib with the best of them, and this enabled his character to mature from a generic babyface to the most electrifying man in sports entertainment. Was Rocky a great technical wrestler? No, but he delivered where and when it counted, and transcended his industry to become a worldwide icon. Number 2. Shawn Michaels Just as The Rock was a genius at delivering promos, so too was Michael Shawn Hickenbottom, aka Shawn Michaels, adept at another one of the pro wrestling basics, selling. The term basically just means to sell your opponent's offense in order to achieve the proper level of drama and physicality for the match. Shawn Michaels could sell a car with no wheels to your local auto dealership without batting an eye, so innate was his skill as a performer. Sure, Shawn's reputation as a backstage politician is legendary, but no one's perfect, and the man has delivered so many five-star matches over the years that it's easy to forget any of the negatives. The Heartbreak Kid is a true WWE legend. Before we name our number one pick, here's some honorable mentions. Not quite at the end yet, almost there though, just be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. Alright, back to business. Number 1. Stone Cold Steve Austin He was for many the performer who personified WWE's lucrative Attitude Era, a period where the business was as violent, crude and adult oriented as television would allow. Stone Cold Steve Austin had audiences eating from the palm of his hand from the moment where that iconic, shattering glass sound hit and his music filled the arena. Austin was an accomplished and believable badass on the mic and an underrated performer in the ring, selling his opponent's offense while delivering his classic Stone Cold stunner finisher to pop crowds around the world. If there's any one WWE performer who can be labeled as genre-defining, it might just be Stone Cold Steve Austin. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.